How's it going? We got a new product here from BG that we're going to give a try. Um, this is a engine cleaner. Um, what we've got is a car that uh, has not had the oil change pretty regular and just like a frying pan on the stove, if you leave the oil in the pan, it'll kind of get real crispy and harden up and not real be real good. So it does the same thing inside your engine. Um, so this is an engine cleaner. We're going to put that in and run that for uh, 40 minutes at 3,000 RPMs and we'll show uh, the whole process as we're going along. Uh, the next process is you have to rinse that product out of the engine. So we're going to install this uh, rinse and we're going to run that for 20 minutes and uh, then hopefully we can open the oil pan back up and we'll see a night and day difference. Uh, I'll bring you over here and I'll show you what the uh, oil looks like inside the engine. This is after we've taken the oil pan off. Uh, you can see it's pretty crusty uh, in here and really gooped up. Um, so we're going to try to get this cleaner and see if we can uh, bring this motor back to life. Um, we've got a check engine light on in this car. And the check engine light is due to, it's not, the engine needs this oil to do the timing now is how it's adjusted. Um, this is how it advances and retards the timing. And that's how you get your better fuel economy. Um, when it's not allowed to do that, the check engine light comes on. Um, so we're going to try to see if we can save this engine without having to replace it. Um, here's the oil pan. You can see it is just really, really caked up. So we're going to leave everything just like this. And we are going to put this pan back on and we'll run this product. So we'll be back in just a minute once we get it all put together. All right. So we uh, got the oil pan back on and there's no oil in the car. So you just put this in. This holds about close to six quarts of oil normally. This is almost, this is six quarts itself. So we're gonna pour this into the engine. Um, and today we got Oz, one of our techs, he's gonna be helping out. And thanks to our uh, film guy, Tyler, our shop foreman, he's uh, helping us out here so we can bring this video to you guys and hopefully uh, explain a little bit. So we're gonna pour this in uh, and get this started. So Oz is gonna take care of that. Um, also just to mention that after we're done with this, we have to change the oil filter uh, before we put in the rinse oil. So we're gonna put this in and then run it for 40 minutes at 3000 RPMs. Um, while we're doing that, um, it's gonna be cleaning and getting everything going and hopefully, uh, we're really excited to see this video. We're hoping that the outcome is what we're told is supposed to happen. Um, the engine should be clean and all of the gunk in there should be out of the uh, engine and hopefully this thing will be back on the road uh, with not having to replace an engine. Um, we're also going to put in the 44K. Uh, the 44K goes into the gas tank. Um, as that's in the gas tank, it will go through and it's going to clean the fuel system. Um, just another great product that we use here um, on a daily basis. Uh, we install that 44K and it helps to clean the injectors and helps get the inside of the uh, cylinder cleaned on the motor. Um, what that translates into is better fuel mileage, um, can also help um, with how well the engine runs and idling smoother. Um, you can see there's quite a bit of oil that we're adding, um, actually engine cleaner that we're adding, not oil. So there's no oil in the engine. All right, so we're good to go on that. And uh, we'll get everything buttoned up here and then we're gonna go around to the back and we're gonna install the 44K and just go ahead while the engine and everything's running, getting that cleaner also working on the uh, fuel side of the engine. Um, so that'll be a good, good added. So we'll follow Oz around, that's the 44K. After watching this video, if you want to go over to um, BG Products and check out their website, they have a lot of good products on there. Uh, everything for engine, uh, gas engines, diesel engines, they go over to small engines, two cycle for your motorcycle, and then their plans. So if you start this product early enough, um, you can get upwards of $4,000 in an engine replacement if needed. Uh, that's how well they stand behind their product. Um, there's a lot of different plans, but the more that you use it, 
um, the more that they're apt to um, help pay with the repair. Uh, they also have transmission, they have all kinds of other products that uh, you can look at. They also have, for electric vehicles, they have a product. So we'll get this going, we're gonna get it set up, we're gonna run this thing um, for 40 minutes and uh, we're gonna run it at 3,000 RPMs. Lovely assistant eyes. He's going to be uh, going ahead and draining the old oil. And I'm going to correct myself. Earlier in the video, I said uh, the new engine was 700. I meant to say 7,000. So a new engine would be about 7,000 in replacement. So Oz is uh, going to go ahead and drain this old oil out. Now this, or excuse me, not oil. This is the actual cleaner um, that we're doing. So this is the cleaner that we just ran through the engine for 40 minutes. Uh, at 3,000 RPM. So it's going to be a little bit warm. So it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks very dirty. Uh, and you can see the dirty of uh, the motor. Uh, so hopefully we're excited to see what this really did. Uh, if you've got all this gunk out. But uh, it's definitely very hot. Um, and we're going to, once we get this drain, we'll go back to the top. This one has a top side oil filter. We're going to go ahead and remove that. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. Hopefully, maybe later in the video after it cools off, what we might do is open that filter, just kind of see what it looked like on the inside. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see you back here in a minute as we're getting this done. We'll see you back on the top side to do the oil filter. All right, so we're back now doing the top side oil filter. Uh, I was going to go ahead and remove that oil filter. This is a new one. Um, this is what the new one looks like. And I will show you. Here's the old one. Obviously, it's a little warm, so. Um, but yeah, we're excited to cut this open. This is what filters your oil and catches all the debris, um, normal engine. So we're gonna change to a new filter and then we're gonna pour in our rinse oil. So we're gonna pour in the rinse oil with the new filter. This is another six quarts. Now the rinse only runs for 20 minutes uh, at 3000 RPM. So we're gonna do that process again. This should clean out all of the uh, cleaner that we just ran through. So once we get all that out, we got to change the filter again. And then at that point, that's when we're going to remove the oil pan and see what we can find. Hopefully uh, all that debris and all the gunk is cleaned out and we'll be able to save this customer a couple thousand dollars in repairs. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys here in a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pour this stuff in and get the new filter and uh, we're going to be in good shape. Thanks guys. All right, so at this point, we're just adding the rinse oil. What that's gonna do is basically clean out um, all the chemical that was in there before, so we don't continue the process of cleaning when we add in our fresh oil. Okay, so we're back. We ran the uh, cleaner through there, um, and now we got the rinse in there. So we're draining the rinse out uh, to get all that chemical and everything out of there. So we're almost down to the moment of truth. Uh, get to see what this thing looks like on the inside, and we're all uh, excited here to see what this is going to look like. Uh, we're hoping it really does what it says, and we're really 
really excited to see. So we'll get this drained out, um, then we'll get the oil pan off and we'll give you guys a look and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so we got most of the oil pans out, uh, oil pan bolts out, so you guys don't have to sit and watch that whole process. So we just left two bolts in, so I'm just taking that down now, and we're going to drop this oil pan and drum roll. Here it comes. We're going to see how this worked out. But yeah, so it, it came out. You can see the fluid was still really dark um, and extremely hot. So. I'm gonna probably get out of the way just in case, so that we don't, uh, I don't get take a oil bath here. But um, the oil pan is empty, and we're working on it when it's extremely hot, so that makes it really tough. Um, I just did put one bolt back in to kind of catch that pan, so it doesn't drop. Um, what's holding this up there is silicone. Uh, that silicone goes between the oil pan bolt. And so yeah, so it came off and I am extremely surprised. Look how clean that is Wow Good job BG actually did what it was said to do um, Wow, that is impressive um, I am pretty impressed So now you know we're excited. We're gonna see we're gonna put oil in it uh, we're going to change the oil filter one more time, put a new oil filter and brand new engine oil. Um, so we're going to get that product back in there. And we also have one more additive. Uh, BG also sends with that kit is MOA. This is an engine oil supplement. Uh, this is a synthetic product. Um, this helps extend your oil life, but it also helps the oil from not breaking down and causing what we had in the beginning. So we're going to put this in with the new oil. Um, this is a really good product. We use this on a daily basis here when we do engine oil changes uh, here at the shop. Um, so yeah, we're going to get uh, all this process. We're going to button up the oil pan, get new silicone, um, and then put this with new engine oil, and we should be in good shape. So we're, uh, we're pretty excited. I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I was just showing you the oil pan now um, and how clean, it, I mean, you saw before the gunk and how caked up it was, and now it's pretty just like it's supposed to be uh, but yeah if you have any questions please post uh, questions we'd love to answer them uh, if you have questions about BG products they have a website bgproducts.com uh, they'd be happy you know you can go and look at all the stuff they offer uh, talks about their uh, warranty plan uh, we also are a dealer of BG products so we can do all your services here uh, everything from coolant to transmission to brake service uh, engine it covers every fluid in the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, happy with that result. How about that, guys? It's good stuff. So we're back now on the top side. Uh, we got the oil pan. I'll just put that back up there and uh, got it all, you know, resealed. So now this is where we add the MOA. We put that in first, um, the oil supplement. So I'll just pour that in there and we'll get that uh, mixed in with the oil. Okay, add that to the engine. So yeah, pretty exciting. Uh, you know, talking where he's pouring that in, it's going into the valve cover. That's part of the oiling system too. Um, we did take a peek down inside and with the camera, it's very hard to see, but that top side of the valve cover inside the top of the engine did look like the oil pan. Um, so very caked up. When we peeked in there after the service was done, it was clean. There was hardly any, if, actually there was no sludge that we could see down through there. Um, so that's pretty good. 
you know, these oil passages and all that, they're really small. So now this oil that we're putting in will be able to go through there uh, and actually help keep things lubricated like it's supposed to. Uh, so now we're gonna get that old oil filter out. That was just running through that we use the uh, cleaner, uh, the actual rinse, sorry. The rinse is the last step that we just did. So now we're adding the oil filter. A new O-ring will go on to the oil cap. Um, this particular motor takes 5W20. Most manufacturers will put that on your oil cap, so you know what uh, weight your oil does, uh, does, what your oil should be for your vehicle. Um, so we'll get this new oil filter in there. We're going to fill it up. Uh, this vehicle holds six quarts, uh, so we're going to put uh, six quarts of 520 along with the MOA into the engine, um, and then we're done. And so we're going to obviously our next step will be test driving. Um, we're going to go drive this car. We're going to watch oil pressure. Um, we're going to see uh, that everything is functioning like it's supposed to on our test drive. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, we're excited about this product and you know something new that BG has brought out. We're going to um, post this. You know, please, if you have questions, if, if you have anything, please give us a call. Post something down in the comments and we will be answering those uh, as they come in. Uh, appreciate it again. Everybody have a great day.